Up near the label of the chart is printed the scale. Here the scale is 1 to 20,000. What that means is that every inch on the chart represents 20,000 inches in reality. Here's the rule of thumb. The larger the second number, the smaller the scale. The smaller the second number, the larger the scale. In this case, it's a pretty low second number, so we have a large scale chart. Now, the second rule of thumb is large scale, small area. This is a pretty large scale chart, which means it covers a pretty small area. Most boaters use three kinds of charts, harbor charts, coast charts, and general charts. This chart that we've been looking at is a harbor chart. It shows a pretty small area with considerable detail. You can see how large these islands are on this harbor chart, whereas on this, this coast chart, here are the same islands. The scale on this coast chart is 1 to 80,000, which is four times the scale of the harbor chart we were looking at. Now, on a general chart, the detail is much less. This general chart covers Canada all the way down to North Carolina. Here's the area covered in the coast chart that we were looking at, and these dots are the islands that we've been looking at in the harbor in the coast charts. Now, besides scale, you should be aware of a couple of other numbers that are important. One is the chart's publication number. Each chart has its own number, and it's issued in a catalog. Second, each chart is periodically updated, and the date of the update is published in the lower corner of the chart. You should always have the most recent edition of a chart, or you should correct the chart. Now, it's important to have a recent edition because a ship may have sunk, a buoy may have shifted position, 